Hello everybody, welcome back to Making It Up. I'm Isa, and we are gathered here today because I have a serious shopping addiction. I've been buying a lot of makeup, okay? I've been buying quite a few things over the last few months. I've accumulated them and I haven't really talked about them with you guys. I've shown them on Instagram a little bit. There's a sneaky little short that I uploaded like this or last week. So there has been a few sneak peeks, but I haven't really sat down put the makeup on, talked about it. So that's what I'm gonna do today. These are not gonna be like first, first impressions because most of these I've already played with a little, but they're definitely gonna be like new products. And I'm gonna be giving you guys my thoughts, little reviews here and there, but I just wanna play with my makeup and have fun. Show you guys some new products in my collection and vibe, just vibe. So if you guys wanna do that with me, then please make sure to keep watching and uh, let's get started. Let's have some fun. Okay, so while we are up close and personal, let me just quickly prep my skin. I'm gonna get started with the face first because I don't have a lot of eye products. I have more face base products, so that should be fun. But before starting with my face, I'm gonna go in with a bit of a nourishment for my lips. I will be using the Ami Cole Lip Treatment Oil. This is in the shade, I don't know the shade name, there is no shade name, uh, it will be down below, but this is so good. It does leak a little bit, the packaging is not the best, but it is very chic. I'm gonna just gonna grab it with my finger. I don't wanna waste it. This is probably one of the best lip oils I've ever tried, and I love this like chocolatey color. I've been using it quite a bit already because it's so good. Obviously on me, it looks a little bit more pigmented because I am fair if you have deeper skin tone. It's gonna look a little more nude, but look at that. It is so nourishing. I don't know how to explain it to you. It is sticky a little, but not in a bad way. It just adheres to your lips and it nourishes them in the best way. For starters, that, that lip oil, 10 out of 10. I have two potential base products. I have the Iconic London Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint. This one right here. And I have the NYX Bear With Me Blur Blurring Tint Foundation. Is this my shade? Definitely not. I don't know what I was thinking. And I might do like a, a, a little short on this one, just like a dedicated video for this one, I think. Hmm. I think I'm gonna try the NYX one. This is the shade 06 Soft Beige. I was thinking more for like a summer shade. Here we go. I don't know how much to use of this. This is definitely not my color. It could work. I don't know how I should be applying it. Honestly, this one I haven't really used. The base products I haven't really used, but applying it with a hand seems to be working. Ooh, okay. Maybe the shade match wasn't as bad as I thought. The makeup artist in me was pulling through for sure. This is a moussey texture and it is a little thicker. I'm sorry, but did I actually nail this shade match? I thought I wasn't, it wasn't gonna look good, but it does. I'm just gonna go over everything with a clean beauty blender. And uh, first impressions on this one so far, it is a little bit thick, but once I applied it, Upon first impressions, it's not looking bad. It just looks matte. So if you don't like that look or you're not used to it, it can be a little weird, but on me so far, it's not looking bad. One thing I will say is that I can see how this foundation has the potential of uh, enhancing your dry patches. Right now, if I look at myself up close, I'm not seeing any of that, but definitely, no, I definitely think that if it's, you know, a little colder, if I have dry patches, it will be clinging to those. So if you have any of that, then I wouldn't recommend using this. But I think for summer, it's gonna be a good one because it does look pretty matte. And if you have oilier skin or you sweat a lot, I think this is gonna be a good, good product for your skin. For concealer, I have the Glowish Bright Light Sheer Concealer in the shade of Fair Light. This is in the shade too. This is definitely a little light for me. I have already tried this a few times and I can say that it is amazing. I have never had a concealer that does what this one does because it definitely brightens things up without being too dewy. There are a lot of like brightening concealers out there that in my opinion, I mean they're good, they work, but they're just too dewy. This one is just dewy enough, if that makes sense. It's not gonna give you the coverage, but this is like the perfect everyday product, I will say, because it just gives you, it wakes you up, basically. I'm blending it out with a sponge, but I do think it's better to blend out with a brush. 
because it'll give you a little more coverage, obviously. So I might go in with a second layer of that. But as you can see, like it didn't really cover anything, but it just brightened everything up. And I love that. So I'm just gonna add a little more to the areas that definitely need the most brightening. So everywhere. And going in with a little brush to add a tad bit more coverage. If you're someone who loves like a more natural, no makeup makeup look, I think this can be your perfect everyday concealer because it does, I've been using it on an everyday basis and I will say I like my coverage under the eyes, but I I think this has turned me into a, well, not no concealer, but like into more natural under eye lover because it brightens things up. So even if I do have the, the bags and the darkness, this kind of counteracts that and it looks natural, but I look more awake and I love it. As you can see, like, it looks so good. I also did get a mini of the Kosa's Cloud Set Powder, but it's just like a literal mini. It, lo it looks like this. I don't know why I didn't bring it out, but I'm just gonna set with my normal one and I'll skip this because this is not a new product and you guys know I love this powder. It's my child. Okay, after powdering, only my T-zone a little bit because obviously the foundation is matte. Let's go into the cheeks, shall we? I have a lot. Let's start with bronzer, contour. I have two contour products. I have the Milk Makeup Sculpt Stick and Toasted, which is I think the second lightest shade. And I have the e.l.f. Uh, Halo Glow Beauty Wand in uh, the contour one in light medium. So these are both contours, but as you can see, this one is a lot warmer. This one is straight up contour. So I think I'm gonna use both. I have tried both of these. I really, really love this one. And for the price, it's amazing. I love Milk, like the bronzer stick was one of my favorites ever. And I've used this like once already and I think it is the same formula. Going at the contour first, yeah. This is a little more stiff and sticky, just like the original bronzer is. Some people don't like that, but I love it. And it is really cool tone, like it is a dark, dark shade. For some reason it's not blending as easily. Let me just go straight with the brush. Sometimes that works better. And yeah, this contour is, I'm looking at myself in the monitor and I'm like, yep, yeah, it has sculpted me. They have quite a few shades of these. I think there is still one lighter one. And they're all, all very cool toned. As you can see, this is looking like a shadow. It's what a contour is supposed to look like. So it's not gonna be the most flattering. It's not gonna bronze up your skin. It's meant to shrink. So that's why we're going in with the bronzer later. Let's do a little eye contour and swoop. Okay, so not a lot to say about this. It's good. It is a cool, cool contour. I don't really have any like super cool tone contours anymore. So I think this is gonna be a great addition to my makeup. I love that it's tiny and I will be busting it out whenever I need to contour. I don't do that on an everyday basis though, but it's good to have, it's good to have. Now we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. This is also, you can also use this as a contour, I will say. It isn't the warmest product in the world. Obviously on, on top of the other one, it does look super warm, but you can also use this to contour. So if you're not wanting two separate products, you can just get this one and it is so easy to blend. These are unreal, e.l.f. continues killing it. There are blushes and highlights too. I don't really highlight a lot, so I didn't get the highlighter. And the blushes are shimmery, which didn't really love that either. So I just got the bronzer. Again, let's add this to the lids. Amazing, so these two products work well together, I will say. They look really nice. I mean, 10 out of 10. I think I like this one more just because it is less expensive and uh, it does it all. It's easier to blend as well. But I also like this one. Like, they serve different purposes for me. So, I mean, they're both good. Let's move on to blushes, shall we? I have quite a few. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But I have the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blur. I don't know the name of these, but they're the blur technology and they're two gorgeous blushes. We got more of a rosy one and more of a terracotta one. The rosy one is Rosé and Brunch and the terracotta one is Jubilee. They're gorgeous and they're so nice. They're the same as their blurring powder, blurring balm. I don't remember, but they're the same technology as that and they're so so good. Then I have the Merit Flush Balm. This is the shade Stockholm, which is just a gorgeous, I mean, it's not a shade that you would see and think me because I'm not a pink girl, but this, 
That has been amazing. It looks gorgeous and it really blends out to a very natural flush. It is very pink and it is very glowy. And then lastly, I finally got my hands on the Euphoria BYO blush, I think is the name of these. This is Chemical Reaction. I think that's the name of this one, but it's basically the one that you just apply and it adjusts to your pH. You can't really see it all that much here, but on my cheeks, it does get a lot rosier. I don't like to use it on top of a lot of makeup because I feel like it doesn't perform as well as it does when I'm wearing something more natural, but I feel like whenever I apply this, where I first apply it is where it looks the most intense. I'm having a hard time blending. So I feel like I need to play with this one a little more because it is amazing and it looks so nice and natural. Like, do you see that? very very pink and it's obviously very flattering because it's what my skin naturally looks like when it flushes I think but for today I think I'm going to just stick to the Danessa Myricks ones and I don't know which color to do I have a lot of peachier lip products so I think I'm I'm gonna have to go with Jubilee which is the not that one it's this one and these are so easy they again go on I wouldn't say they're creamy they always definitely feel powdery and they blend so easily like as you can see, it's just like a dream, like a velvet dream. That's what these feel like. You can also blend them in with your fingers, but I prefer just the brush and they're super nice to build up as well. Like they blend into a powder. They're more like a balm than they blend into a powder and they just look pretty gorgeous. Now we're moving on to the eyes. I don't have a lot of eye products, so let's just do the brows. And this is another repurchase. It's a Glossier Brow Flick. It's so good. You guys have heard me talk about this before. I love it, and there's nothing like a fresh one to just make my brows look gorgeous. I just love this because it is so precise and it is so easy, even if you don't know what you're doing with your brows, because it is sheer. So it's not intimidating. It's easy to clean up if you eventually fuck up like I just did um, because it is more of a natural sheer product. Gorgeous to make just little hair strokes and to fill in where you need to without making it look unnatural, as you can see. I just, ugh, Glossier Brow Flick is my all-time favorite brow product, I think. And then for the eyes, I don't have any new eyeshadows or anything like that, so I'm just gonna go in with this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in Pyro. I don't know why I got it, to be completely honest with you, but let's just do it all over the eyes. I just felt like I, I didn't have one of these and there was like a, a gap in my makeup collection for a glitter like an easy glitter so i'm just gonna do this all over I, these are so good they've been around for a really long time and for good reason because they are a good product um i have never put it on my eye as a shadow but i like it it's a little sticky but it's not irritating sometimes these can be irritating and it has like multi-colored glitters so that is so cute and it's gonna look amazing, so yay, for this pyro glitter from Urban Decay. For mascara, you guys know I love my Essence Extreme Volume Mascara that I found on TikTok. I've talked about this before. The one that everyone talked about on TikTok for a while is the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I got this one to test out and see if it's even better than the black one. And today we are putting it to the test, baby. Oh, I don't know about this, you guys. Immediately the wand is different. This wand is plastic. The other wand is a uh, brush, a, a regular like brush wand, and it has little spikes up top, so this could go either way. It is a drier formula, so immediately I like that. Okay, so mega hot take. I love Extreme Volume Mascara, really nice. Separated everything that I have, made my lashes look really nice and curled. It is not as voluminous as the black one. I think the wand and the other one just makes everything a lot easier. I like this formula because it is drier and I like the spikes, it helped with my lower lashes, but I feel that the regular black one gives you a lot more volume than this one. It is nice, like it's making my eyelashes look pretty and separated and curled, but it's not as voluminous as the other one. If you like separation and you like to pay low prices for your mascara, 
this could be it. TikTok was onto something, definitely. We are moving on to the best part, which is the lips. I have quite a few lip products in here. We already talked about my love for the Amicole lip oil. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it already. This came filled to the brim and I've used it a lot. Just do me a favor and get this. It doesn't matter your skin tone. Everyone's gonna love it, I think. I got two of the Sephora Sheer Matte Lip Balms. I got the shade Soft Sienna and Tan. These are not available on the Sephora website anymore. And I don't understand why that is. If they're discontinuing these, that is a crime that Sephora is committing against literally everyone because these are amazing. This is Soft Sienna. As you can see, sheer perfection, okay? It's matte, but it's balmy. Like, it's insane, it's unreal. It reminds me of the NARS lip balm, like matte lip balms, but this was like, you know, $10. The color is beautiful. It feels so good on the lips. Like, look at that. And let me show you the other color, which is tan. It's also chef's kiss. The one that I applied first is a lot peachier. This one's a lot brownier. But still gorgeous, still matte. This one get, gets lost a little bit more on my lips. I do need like a lip liner. I still have the shade. I still have the browniness. And if you have a deeper skin tone, I think mm, you're gonna love this. Now it's time for the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Honesty. You guys know everything about these at this point because everyone talks about them all the time. And some people hate them, some people love them. I love them. This is the only shade that I got because I don't, I don't love like lip stains in general and for the more bold colors, I don't know. It's just not my preferred, like I like something a little sheer and matte. This is definitely more glossy and gorgeous, but look at it. It's so nice, I've been using it a lot as well. It has a cooling sensation. I know you guys know everything about these at this point. It just makes my lips look very juicy and I have tiny lips so I, I will get everything, you know, I, I need all the help I can get. And as you can see, it does obviously leave a little bit of a lip stain, but it's not all that bad and I like it because it is very natural on me. Last but not least, I have the MAC Locked Kiss Ink 24 hour lip color in the shade Teaser. Liquid lipstick, you guys. I never thought I'd see the day when I'm applying liquid lipstick yet again, but here it is. It is peachy perfection. It feels just like water. Ignore the bad application, but this is what it looks like. This is matte matte, like it dries completely matte. It's not gonna be the most flattering or the most comfortable, but it is so nice. And it is, I will say for liquid lipstick that dries down, it is very comfortable. It reminds me a lot of the Kat Von D ones. These are a little more forgiving and they're so gorgeous. They have beautiful shades, but this one specifically, the perfect peachy shade for me, it is a little deeper. So it adds something to my lips and uh, it is transfer proof completely. So, so gorgeous. I love it. Are all of these colors virtually the same? Yes, they are. At different intensities and different formulas, they're the same. I'm a creature of habit, sue me, but I love. I love, so who cares? Let's get up close a little bit and talk about everything. I think everything looks gorgeous. What is surprising me currently is the foundation. It's looking so nice. And obviously the glitter, like I'm obsessed with it. Everything else I kind of knew I loved already. But uh, it looks really cute, honestly. I'm even a little shiny, but that might be because of the light and because the foundation is holding up really well and I don't look as shiny as I would with other products. So um, 10 out of 10, I love this look. Okay guys, and that wraps us up. Full face is complete. I am feeling really good. Let's just go over some of the products that I loved. Base, obsessed with it. I really do enjoy this next one. I don't think it will be for everyone. It really depends on your skin type and uh, your preference if you don't like matte then you won't love this. This shit, again, so good. It also depends on preference. If you like something a little just more brightening and for every day, this is perfection. So gorgeous. I don't usually like glowish products, but this, mwah, they hit the mark. The e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Wand was so, so good. I love it. I think the shades can work across a variety of skin tones. This is $9. A great, great product from e.l.f. It's just so good. They're killing it. Amicole, this is a standout. The tinted lip oil, so good. It is a sticky oil. That's the best way to describe it. And I use it daily to nourish my lips. And I think everyone needs this in their life. And then of course, the Sephora Sheer Matte Lip Balms. Beautiful shades. This is my perfect everyday lip 
product because it has everything I want in a lip product and I am crossing, literally like crossing my fingers, praying to the universe that Sephora doesn't discontinue these. Honestly, there is nothing that I would say I didn't like. The mascara maybe fell a little bit flat, but other than that, I think everything worked great. As always, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos like this one. I love you guys. I hope you had fun hanging out with me and I hope to see you right here for my next video. Bye! Mwah.